outdoors. Yeah, have you ever heard this term glamping? I have. Glamorous camping? <laughs> well, the whole idea of just being in your own backyard with a little sitting area is to be able to make it look luxurious and to be able to bring features that we were accustomed to inside. Veranda Living is the only company that I am aware of that makes outdoor rugs. These aren't plastic mats made out of, you know, the stirring sticks you use in, in coffee. These are true woven rugs, beautiful colors. They're completely reversible. And we right now have lots of different colors and three different sizes. Yeah. Now, when you buy any of them, you're going to get a bonus mat that comes along with it. And I get to reintroduce you to my buddy, Jeff Meyer. How Dan, are you, man? You know, you're talking about the decking luxurious. Would that be decking, maybe? Yeah, sometimes. But think about my deck. I just had redone a couple of years ago. But every year, you have to stain it. There's splinters. Maybe your field stone is uneven. How about in yep. your kitchen? This is a great rug for in the kitchen because it doesn't absorb odors. And it cleans like nothing else in your house. So you can put this in place where your linoleum looks bad. Okay. Your hardwood floors. We both have old farmhouses. They're, they're roughed up. The, the floor in my house is yeah. over 200 years old. It, it's almost as old as Dan. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. everything is fantastic, <laughs> but you just need a pop of color maybe. And that's why if you put down this rug from Veranda, it's one of the largest makers of rugs in the world, but Veranda only here exclusive to QVC. Okay, we've got three sizes. Yep. The one that you're standing on is 10 foot. This, by seven. Yep, this is a 10 by seven. That's, and, and we're in a big sound studio. Huge. So, I mean, that's a big rug. We'll hold it up in a second and this show is, you. This is five foot by seven. Five foot by seven. Each one you get comes with this bonus mat, a front door mat. Okay. Maybe you want to put it under your pet food, so it will go. That's a good idea. And they're both reversible. And yep. then we have the 84 inch round. Yeah, which is seven feet. Seven right. feet. I just learned that the other day. That's a seven foot rug, <laughs> rug right there. I won't argue so, with you like, so there's, like somebody. There we go, like some, some other Dan we <laughs> yeah. know. So here we go. This is, we call these these natural colors. The red you see here, we call it red, has striations in it. I think of red rocks maybe out uh, in uh, Colorado. Then we go over to our green. Our green is beautiful. Again, different colors of green woven in with wheat colors. So this is the same rug yep, just flipped that's over. That's the reverse side. So when I pull this back, okay. so I have a green rug now with this beautiful detail that looks kind of like wrought iron. Look how beautiful that is. This rug, by the way, weighs about 22 pounds. This is a rug. Hey, Jeff, let's, let's talk about that because it's a true weave. Yes. Uh, so many of these mats that are out there, uh, and the mats are nice for no, temporary. They're great. they're great for the beach and stuff, but this okay. is this could say indoor rug and not uh, right. outdoor, but what they've been able to do Rain with doesn't is affect make it this. that you can put it outdoors. Uh, the elements don't bother it at all. No. And that's important. You, if you round. took a regular rug and put it outside, it would become soggy, it would then hold moisture, yeah. would then become moldy, and then would stink to high heaven. And this is the this light natural. Doesn't. This is always super I like popular. that. I think that's a great look. But again, you have a darker side to the light natural. You have this side, see the surged edges? But when you flip it over, it's really like a magic trick. I was at my friend Donnie Bob's yesterday, uh -huh. and he has this under his picnic table, and we were all talking about how great the veranda is. He's had his out there for three years. Okay. I leave mine outside. You don't have to bring them in. Your neighbors will say, yeah. hey, it's raining. You should bring your rug in. No, it's meant to stay outside. Well, here's the, the big thing in decorating outdoors right now is the big surprise. Yeah. And it was when all of a sudden sofas became a part of outdoor <laughs> decorating. Do you remember? They really did. So the idea is to have something out on that back deck that looks like it doesn't belong outdoors. That's exactly right. The couches we have outside now, everything looks like it doesn't belong. It looks like a living room. to go out there. That's what this uh, is. The whole idea of decorating outdoors is to look like your wife kicked you out of the house. <laughs> have you noticed well, that? Well, I know. I think it's for your friends to come over and say, boy, I wish I, wish I had furniture <laughs> like that. And this is our gray natural. All we have left we, in that is the round. Is the round. But let's hold it, this up, Dan. You know, seven I'll foot. You watch this on the ground. and. I'm 6'4", so just to give you an idea, this is a very ample size. So any outdoor round table you have, think about your kitchen table. They're right. normally round, perfect under that. And they do have some weight. They, these they are do. not going to blow over into your neighbor's yard. No, that's And the, you're these getting, you're getting the, the foot mat yep. on any of these colors. And see that They're soft, off? they're comfortable. I agree, if your deck doesn't look its best, And, and I don't think anybody does except surprise. for about six months or so. Look at that. Look at that. And you know what pavers cost? You know what field stone costs, all those sort of things? It sets it off. The pavers look better. Your seating area looks better. And by the way, when those pavers get, this is, I got to just Indoors. see that. That is traditional. Uh, oak furniture. Look how great it looks with the veranda on. It looks like a million bucks. Now, by the way, you cannot destroy these rugs. No. And we're going to try. We'll try. Well, we can't. We never you have. Know, <laughs> uh, even bleach does not affect it. These do not absorb moisture. 
Yeah. So, so they dry quickly. Yep. Again, your pavers, uh, my friends around the pool, bleach can't hurt it. So chlorine in your pool, <laughs> I've jumped in a pool before, my shirt's turned a different color. I think right. we've all gone through that. So here I just have some ketchup, mustard, dirt. What else do I have here? I have some red wine on it, and we'll put a little more soy sauce on it for good, good measure. Now this would be ruined anywhere else. I'll take some of the major off it. All you'd have to do is hose this off. Right. Since we're inside, I'm just going to brush it a little bit in this water. Again, so even the, the yellow that normally stains mustard, with mustard, it, yeah, it the, can't the absorb, the so it can't stain. There. There's a little bit left there, but look. It's like a magic trick. You will never throw this rug out because of staining. And I don't know that there's anything in your house that you could say that you can't I, I stain. Agree. Red wine, all that. Now, Real quickly, we have bleach on here. That was a black piece black of cloth, towel. Yeah. Which is on its way to white. Ha nothing happened to the veranda, which that shows you around your pool, it's going to stay steadfast. You can put a black rug around your pool yep. and it's not going to change color. And the reason I use the bleach, it disinfects to 99.9%. .9%. So if you have an accident, maybe you spill milk, something on a rug where normally you go, boy, does the that puppy. smell? We, the puppy, the puppy. A puppy accident. Yep. You can now take it outside or in your tub, wherever you want to do it, pour bleach on it, let it sit, hose it off, and it's disinfected. Isn't in, that fantastic? In sizes that, and by the way, these are remarkably affordable considering yeah. what a change in impact they make <laughs> to your, your patio, your deck, et cetera. 10 and, foot by seven. And again, yeah. Five foot by seven, seven foot round. Right. And so all of these are reversible. And this is how it'll come to your house. The reason I do that is because it's not about, this is how you change the look of your deck or the look of your dining room yeah. or the look of wherever you want. If you have a large front porch, use the five by seven as your welcome mat. It's not painting, it's not redoing this. It's rolling out a rug and you'll have That's the nice. whole different look. And when you flip it over, it's the reverse. So this is a red. Right. Green. Green. You're calling this light natural? Light natural, natural stone colors. Are we allowed to have, have a dark natural? I, I like this light natural. And we natural. have a gray natural just in the round, and that's this guy right over here. Okay, so the, the rectangles are gone in that. They're, they're gone. Buddy, thank you for giving up some of your Memorial Day weekend to be a part hey, of our And by the way, I just show. want to say thank you everyone for giving their lives for this country. That's what it's all about today, and it lets us do what we do. I agree. I do agree. Thank you, sir. Coming up a little bit later on, we're going to show you something a little bit different from the folks at Plow and Hearth. This is a wind spinner, but it's also a water-driven sprinkler. And that's never been done before. It's actually a patent pending. $89.96 will bring it to your backyard. It throws a lot of water. So if you're looking for a great way to water your yard, but have some function and beauty together, this is the way in which to do it.